Chris Jenkins. Today I have with me Ryan Delaire, who is a new Carolina Panther. You guys asked me and asked me if I could get him in here, talk to him yesterday, and he was gracious enough to come in here before they head out to Seattle. We're going to ask him a few questions, and then I'm going to turn it over to you guys to ask him questions as well. Ryan, Ryan, appreciate your comment, man. How's it going? I'm, I'm good. You How good? are you? <laughs> I'm pretty good. Has it, has it sunk in yet about this transition from being on the Washington practice squad and then coming to Carolina and then getting the sacks and everybody's like, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Yeah, it was, it was actually pretty um, crazy because I was basically just in the game. You know, I was just playing the regular game I play, right. just trying to go hard, just trying to make plays with my teammates, and that all happened, you know. <laughs> so it, it's, it's sunk in. I'm just trying to, you know, move on to the next game or prepare for the next game. Speaking of just playing, you know, I saw somebody with it online. I said, I'm going to ask him because I bet you it was more just a reaction. You got blocked such that you kind of flipped in the air, landed on your front hands, and you popped right back up. You remember that play? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, my, my, um, my brother and my cousin told me about it. And to be real, like, I just, I don't know. Some, I didn't see the cut happen, happening. So all of a sudden he cut me, and I just got into a handstand position, flipped back, just kept going for the quarterback. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Any thoughts on how you were able to be successful in Tampa? Do you think it was just they weren't prepared for you? You just you know, um, they, worked hard and it worked out for you? I didn't know who I am. You know what I mean, I played against some those same tackles every day during camp or anything like that. I'm surprised, like, you know. They weren't holding me down or anything like that, like stopping me from pass rushing because they already knew the kind of player I was. So, yeah. Without revealing the game plan, do you know what's in store for you this Sunday? What kind of role you're going to be playing? Um, just making sure I, you know, play the zone read. That's one thing that we're trying to key because that's something that Russell Westbrook, he, he does. Um, oh, Russell Wilson, sorry. He does that really well, mm -hmm. the zone read, wide zone. So that's one thing that we're all trying to key. Okay. And speaking of this quick rise to, to fame, so if, if you will, or if I may, I noticed that you are one of the few players that don't even have an official Twitter account. That is how quickly you have risen that, you know, usually when you guys come in, it doesn't take long before your account gets official, right? Your, your Twitter yeah. account hasn't been labeled yet. Yeah. It hasn't? No. <laughs> hey, oh, well. Um, <laughs> you didn't even know? <laughs> to be real, I, I don't really, the Twitter is there. Oh, well, I'm not verified. Yeah. No, that doesn't stop me from, you know, getting on with life. It's yeah. just social media. So, hey, it doesn't really matter too much to me. I, I say maybe one more Sunday before the Twitter gods recognize that you are the one and only official Ryan Delaire and give you that stamp, man. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask you one more question, then we're going to go over to the fans. And somehow between asking you questions, I'm going to find my pen so I can keep track of their questions. But for you or for the fans here, what are they going to learn about you as a player? Um, what they're going to learn is that um, I'm very determined and um, I work very hard. You know, I, I stay after practice and I like every single move that I may do in a game, um, they may see on TV, I practice that. Like I practice that after practice for at least 15 minutes and like I, I, I constantly try to keep going. I try not to stop. You know, I, got, I try to keep a motor, I try to keep it in practice so I can just lead into the game. So that's something that I, you know, like I try to rely on. Okay. Now I know why I can't ever find you when the locker room opens. Because <laughs> you're still out on the field. Yeah. But let, I'm going to go ahead and get up and I'm going to ask one of these questions. You just want to look here. And then, like I said, I'm going to try to find my pen in between running around. So if you guys got any questions for Ryan, you guys can go ahead and start to type those now. And I will ask him. Somebody said you like Hankerson tonight. I have no idea what that is. I don't know if you do, so I'm going to keep on moving on to <laughs> the next question. Have you had a chance to reward yourself financially now that you've made this, you know, this leap from practice squad player to 53-man roster? Have you done anything to reward yourself? Um, to be real, um, the, most, the, the most that I did was just buy a bed. <laughs> and that's that's really it. That's the most expensive thing that I bought so far, which is something that I really needed. So I just bought a nice little pillow top, queen size bed. <laughs> that was it. NASCAR fan living in Carolina? 
Are you a NASCAR fan? Nah, I never watched NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Uh, if it's the off season, no football responsibility, so you don't have to go work out. I know you will work out at some points, but if it's the off season, you got a free day. What is it that you're likely to go and do to pass the time away? Uh, I like I like playing video games. I'm not gonna lie, that's something that I, I may do in my spare time. I watch a lot of movies. I'm a big movie person. Um, I, I watch a lot of TV shows on Netflix too. So, what was your movie of the summer? Ah, uh, I can't really think about it right now because <laughs> I, for, I forgot some of the movies that came out. But yeah, I don't really have a movie right now. What defensive veteran do you look up to most on the squad so far? And I want to say you guys got to give him a break. He's only been here. Has it been two weeks yet? It's been um, about two weeks, maybe. Yeah, about two weeks. Um. One veteran that I look up to is um, Jared Allen. I mean, to stay in the obvious, he's a DN. He's been very productive, and he's he's been able to give me advice, like off, like on the field and off the field. Like when I was in the hotel, and he was staying at the hotel, he was able to give me some advice. So he's he's a really good person to look up to. Any uh, hard love you didn't got from anybody yet? Oh, <laughs> he's talking about like <laughs> any tough practice. love, you know, where they teach you something, but it was it was a tough moment. Uh, no, nah, I haven't had any of that. All right. Let me know if you get one so we can share it with the people. <laughs> they want to know where you're from. I know, but they're asking where you're from. Yeah, I'm from Hartford, Connecticut. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's well traveled, to... sounds like. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I went to high school. I went to Windsor High School. I lived there for a period of time. I lived in Hartford, Connecticut for a period of time. So I'm just from Connecticut, the Hartford area. Okay. I'll, I'll make some lady happy here. You can just smile. She said you're gorgeous, so there you go. <laughs> uh, difference between uh, Panthers and other teams that you've played on, again, I'm going to say you've only been with us for two weeks, but any differences between the Panthers and, the, I guess, the Redskins that you could point out? Um, I just feel like every organization, you know, they're, they're all good, to be honest. It's the NFL. It's a premier league. Um, one thing I can say about here is that there's a lot of motivation. You know, there's a lot of guys coming together as one to try to work hard towards a goal. It's a lot of motivation. Okay. Origins of the name Delaire. Oh, Delaire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, um. Well, my dad's Creole. He he's Saint Lucian, so that's. They speak Creole French over there. It's probably, it's, some people don't know it. It's like a French last name, so that's where I got that last name from. Can you, can you speak any French? Oh, that's just my dad. <laughs> the, my dad's side of the family, I can't speak it. Have you gotten around to the, uh, to the city of Charlotte yet to notice anything much? Um, I just went to the epicenter to get something to eat. I've never really been anywhere. He's low key. If you guys can't get it, I'm picking up on the uh, the island low keyness. But you <laughs> have any favorites, foods? Yeah, um, I like a lot of um, Jamaican food. That's what I grew up on. Okay. Like um, curry chicken, rice and peas, jerk chicken, um, steam fish, anything like that. Kingfish. <laughs> Somebody said no worries, no problems. Do you are you a big? Do you cook at all? Or you like to go out and get your your food? I cook. You know, I try to cook. I, I get some of the recipes from my mom. I get it from my auntie. Um, I just I basically I, I, I base some of my food mainly from like Jamaican recipes. I, I never really <laughs> cook too much, too much American food like that. I'm trying to even get better with like Jamaican recipes. I'm okay. I'm not all the way there. All right. Someone said, what's the biggest misconception you feel there are about football players and you guys? That we're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, I get that a lot. They just think that we're just not as intelligent. I actually have a, a, a major and a minor. And um, it's not like psychology or sociology or something simple like sports management. Like I actually have like a, I have a healthcare management degree. Okay. I got a minor in business. So... I try to actually get a major. You got so what's you got a you already got your NFL fallback plan? I mean, I don't I don't really have an NFL fallback plan yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
hopefully I don't want to work in the office. <laughs> I, want, I want to own my own business. Right. Yeah. So you, you're all in right now, huh? Yeah. What is an interesting fact about you that might not be so known about Ryan Dallaire? Could um, be funny, could be interesting. Like I only played, like I played one year of football, like in high school. Like, and then that was it. I just got a scholarship. Like, I like a, literally, it was like two weeks before like college football camp. Like I got, I got an offer to UMass, which was kind of crazy, so. What made you decide to play that one year, that senior year? Uh, I, was, I was a basketball player. I was doing a lot of AU, traveling, everything like that, um, doing camps. And I just never got like a, any big scholarship offers. So I was just like, you know, like I had my, one of my um, coaches, football coaches, he spoke to me about it. I had a track coach speak to me about it. And did you do track as well? Yeah, I did track. I only did it for like two years though. So. Okay. Yeah, so he talked to me about it and convinced me and I just tried it. You get, what, what are some future football goals? Um, to get double digit sacks in one, one year. Okay. All right. Well, we got time for one more question. Uh, you went to U, he didn't go to UMass. He went to Towson. Well, I went there first. You went to UMass first? Yeah. I went to UMass for three years. Then I transferred to Towson. I'm still learning about them. So y'all caught me there. They wanted to know how you like the area up there. I right, UMass or Towson? Let's go with UMass. Yeah, UMass was a it was a great social life. Um, those are some years I will never forget. Um, I actually had a lot of great friends that I still speak to there. Um, I had the best dining as far as like food. <laughs> so yeah, I, I appreciate those three years I was there. So I learned a whole lot. Do you have? Are you rooting for anybody in uh, Major League Baseball? You watch it at all? No. <laughs> what 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 other sports do you like? Uh? Um. I'm just a big fan of basketball. Okay. Because <clears throat> that's what I used to play. Who is your favorite team right now? I've always been a Lakers fan. How do you think they're going to do this year? You know, Roman Harper's a Lakers fan. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, hopefully they do good. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know how it's going to look because we haven't had any big time players come in besides like Kobe. So we haven't had anybody in the past like two, three years. All right. I'm going to let y'all squeeze in one more question because they've been coming in fast. And then I'm going to let Mr. Delaire get on with his evening. So if you guys got one more question, I'll give you a few seconds to send it. And if you don't, then I'm going to wrap us up and uh, maybe Mr. Delaire can come back soon. So basically everybody's saying have a safe trip, wishing you the best, hoping that we get that W this weekend okay. up in Seattle. I know you guys leave tomorrow. I won't be there, man. Unfortunately, that's a little too far for me to travel this week, <laughs> but I hope you guys do well. So again, as far as social media stuff, are you on it much? Yeah. A little bit. So let the people know how they can get in touch with you on whatever social media outlets that you use. Um, if, you, if you go on Twitter <clears throat> or um, Instagram, they can just type in my full name and they'll find it. Oh, I do have one more question for me. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the Twitter handle, the Instagram handle. Tell me the story about how that name come up. Oh. What is it? It's a... Uh, I didn't write it down. What's the what's the Instagram handle? <laughs> it's um <laughs> it's pretty flacco. Okay. Yeah. So it came about like my teammates when I was in college at Towson, they called me Flacca. They called me Flock or Flacco. So Okay. From from what, the rapper? The the, the what, what's the they origin? Just, Cause yeah, because they, they a lot of people said I looked like it was a rapper named Walker. Walker Flocker. Flocker. Yeah. yeah. So they, <laughs> they called me that. And I just tied that in because one of my favorite rappers is um, ASAP Rocky. Okay. And his nickname is Pretty Flacco. Okay. So I just, I kind of like that name. I just. Man, I, 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 I feel sorry for you guys with dreads because it's like, you don't want to purposely do it, but you always get skewed about this guy looks like that guy. So mm -hmm. I ain't gonna, as soon as I saw you when I was walking up, I said, he looked like D'Angelo. And I'm thinking, cause, you know, the, the mustache here and the dreads, <laughs> just kind of the way he wore his dreads. But. I was like, I ain't gonna mention that, but I, because I, I know that happens with your hairstyle a lot. That it's just easily the hairstyle makes you think of another person, and you don't even think about the facial features. But anyway, appreciate you coming by, man. All right. Mm -hmm. So for you guys that are watching online, I invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you can see the uh, get a notification as soon as I have videos with guys like Ryan 
up and also if you're watching online if you download the periscope app it's free it's on android and apple then you'll be able to participate in these live broadcasts that we have right here so thank you everybody for watching all right thanks for having me <laughs> no doubt man no doubt it was